publication and examination. We are looking at sections 11 capital A and 11 capital B. Now, when it comes to these two sections, they are related because publication is a prerequisite for examination. So, as I said, form 9 is followed by form 18. So, publication is a prerequisite for examination or examination follows publication. So, this is the rule. Now, there are few things that you need to remember when it comes to 11A and 11B. First, an application is published after 18 months. So, this is the default rule. And where do we get that from? We get that from 11A1. Save us otherwise provided. No application for a patent shall ordinarily be open to the public for such period as may be prescribed, which means it is open to the public after the prescribed period. And the prescribed period is 18 months. So we have rule 24, which tells you that it is 18 months. So you don't find it in the act. An act where there are details, we always find this word as may be prescribed or as prescribed. So whenever you see this word in the act prescribed as may be prescribed, the details you are going to find it in the rules. So the first thing is the default rule is that an application is published after 18 months. So till 18 months, it is kept unpublished. The application is kept unpublished until 18 months. Now the period, as I said, is mentioned in the rules. The second thing you need to remember is that there is a process by which you can expedite the publication. The default rule is that it is not published till 18 months gets over. But in case you are in a hurry, then there is expedited publication. For expedited publication, 11A2 tells us that a person may request the controller to publish his application any time before the expiry of the period prescribed, that is any time before the 18 month, and the controller shall publish such application as soon as possible. Here, the request has to be done using Form 9. The Form 9 is the form that you would use to make a request for publication. In case you don't make a request for publication, then it's automatically published after 18 months. The default rule is it's automatically published after 18 months. In case you need to get a grant quickly, then you could take an application, you can file form 9 and you could request the controller to publish the application before the expiry of that 18 month period. The second thing you will remember is that there is a provision for expedited publication. The third thing is that there are exceptions to publication. There are instances where an application is not published at all. So there are three instances. Normally, the default rule is that an application is published after 18 months, but there are three instances where it is not published even after 18 months. The first instance is where there is a secrecy direction imposed under section 35. As long as the secrecy direction continues, it is not published. So let us assume that the secrecy direction continues for 24 months. So the application is not published till the secrecy direction is revoked. That's one instance where an application is not published after 18 months. The second instance is where it has been abandoned under 9.1. Now 9.1, you know that filing a provisional and following it up with a complete. You file a provisional and don't follow it up with a complete, then you have abandoned it. There was a question before saying that are provisionals published? The answer is provisionals that are abandoned are not published. Provisionals that are followed by a complete specification are published when the complete specification is available. The provisional is also available. So this is the answer. When a provisional is abandoned under 9.1, then it is not published. But when the provisional is followed by a complete and the complete itself is published, the provisional is also accessible. So this is the second instance where it is not published it's not published for a simple reason because it is abandoned. The provisional is filed. It is not followed by a complete. So it's treated as abandoned. The third instance, it is left to the control of the applicant as, as in the abandonment happens because the applicant does not follow it up with a complete. The third one is also within the control of the applicant where the applicant withdraws the application three months before the end of the 18 month period, 15th month before the 15 month, you need to withdraw the application. The first exception is something beyond the control of the applicant. Secrecy directions are not passed by the an applicant. It's the controller and the central government that is in charge of it. But B and C are within the control of the applicant, abandoning and withdrawing. These are the three exceptions where the application is not published after 18 months. 
Now condition A, that is uh, 3A, is different from B and C because in B and C, it is not going to see the light of the day at all. Whereas in A, the moment the secrecy direction ceases to exist, then it is published. So there is a possibility of publishing when it comes to secrecy direction. Whereas in abandonment and withdrawal, there is no possibility of publishing. So that's one distinction that you need to bear in mind. The fourth thing you will remember is that the publication comes only after the secrecy direction ceases. Okay, we get that from 11A4. It says that the secrecy direction in respect of an application, then it shall be published after the expiry of the period prescribed or when the secrecy direction has ceased to operate. Now, there are two conditions here. When a secrecy direction is issued, it, it is issued for a prescribed period. After that period, if the secrecy direction is not extended, the application can be published or when the secrecy direction has ceased to operate. When it has been revoked, there are procedures where you can revoke the secrecy direction. Then soon after that, it can get published. When cease to operate is the second condition where the secrecy direction can be revoked. In such cases, publication can happen after the revocation. Uh, the fourth thing to remember is the publication comes only after the secrecy direction has run its course, either revoked or it has run its course. So secrecy direction, as you know, that it is issued for defense purposes. Or, as I mentioned earlier, if a controller feels that the invention appears to be so relevant, so it need not be for defense purposes in the sense that it may not be tied directly to any military or defense purposes, but the controller feels this is a new technology, it could be used for defense purposes, even in such cases, a secrecy direction can be issued. The fifth thing you will remember is that when a publication happens, a complete specification has many parts in it. The only parts that get published of the different parts of a complete specification is the abstract. So under 11a, if a question is asked, which part of the complete specification is published? And you know that the, it has many parts, abstract, title, drawings, description, claims. Then the answer should be that the abstract is published. Now we get this from 11a5, which says that every publication under section shall include some bibliographical details like date of the application, number of the application, name and address of the applicant, identifying the application and importantly, an abstract. Now the abstract is what we call a part of a specification. The other things are all information that you will find in form one. So bear this in mind, the only part of a complete specification that is published is the abstract.